tonight from Soldier Field in Chicago. It's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Strap in, this will be a good one. Two one-loss teams getting together as they're underway on EA Sports. Fielding just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look here now at their fourth-year quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Back to throw. Yeah, he'll find Hall. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 right at the 40. They're going to look to throw. There's Hall bringing in another one. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Now on 
first down. He'll drop to throw it. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Back to throw again. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he fires one incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Looking to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Bulldogs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. point forthcoming. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7 nothing lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it at about the 1. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw here. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught inside the five. 33 yards that time. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. 
and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll set up to throw. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am. And you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation. Because second down, that gives me an option of running. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. They'll look to throw now on first down. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. On play action, they'll throw. He finds his man complete. That's Hall. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 32-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. They'll go option to the short side. Stop short of the 25. The nice move couldn't ultimately free him. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Super huge, maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him now. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. And the 10-year back knocks. 
kicks it through the goalpost, and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on set. Under pressure, they got him again. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Thompson between the tackles. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And yeah, taken right at the 35. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. to throw here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Second down and inches. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. His pass caught at the four. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play. Move on. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue. 
as you can see by the score line. The Dolphins get back above 500 as they move to 3-2 and two with the victory. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. 38-24 was the final. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Well, throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back to throw now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll give him eight that time, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and well, we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it here. Why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They run with Thompson. And a short gain there down to the 37 yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. His throw incomplete. So third down now. They need the 27 yard line for a first. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and the deficit will stay at two field goals. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The 12 yards that time and picking up the first. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. He'll drop to throw. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this this is the NFL and it's on EA Sports Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Second and six. This is caught. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. And a loss of three to bring up four. It's interesting where we are in the game now. The analytics folks, they might tell you to kick the field goal and make it a two-score game. But you have to wonder if emotionally they're thinking, let's go for the touchdown and try and slam the door. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick here is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16 to 7. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, it's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Torres. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw here. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the deficit trimmed to six now. It's 16-10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block, don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. They'll try to run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. And all for the touchdown. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bulldogs are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Now the offense will stay out there. They're going to line up and try for two. They'll try and throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And able to get this out to the 25. So now the Bears down by two touchdowns. At time, a huge factor. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Go! 
Got his man complete over the middle. That's Torres. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry up offense. Wide open receiver complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40 yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And the Bears are going to take over here up near the 40. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. One final shot. They'll look to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And the Bears are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for London, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1, and one, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Chicago, the loss will move them back to...